Good morning folks, this is Animal Revan here and welcome to this video. I want to say a formally a big thank you to everyone who has been supporting me through this channel and there are a bunch of uh, videos on my YouTube page as well as my Twitter and Facebook social media locations. If you are not a member of Twitch and you want to follow me on the game itself when I go live, you're most welcome to. So, welcome aboard, everybody. Um, today, we're talking about uh, going into the banning system for World of Warships, and it's a new way of uh, discipline action here. So, we're talking about combat discipline, disabling friendly fire. Uh, so... I wonder why we're disabling friendly fire. So, green ships on our side don't fire at them. So, this is a joke from a tutorial video that might be really useful for some players. Now, I'm not really worried about the uh, tutorial video, mind you. Um, I will explain in detail what has been happening in the game. So, in a nutshell, when you play World of Warships, just like uh, World of Tanks and uh, World of Warplanes, if you shoot your teammate, you'll get a warning. And sometimes it'll, they jump the gun and actually will penalize you for different reasons. So, how does the system work? Uh, basically, uh, if a player sleeps, fires at allies, or leaves the battle prematurely, they yeah, will get a uh, pink status on the game. So, as you can see um, in this example here, that this person uh, gets you know a pink status on the game for friendly fire, for example, but. When you uh, have a problem with um, leaving the battle prematurely, well, honestly, that, my friends, um, is basically that you either lost your connection during the fight or had a race quit fit and actually just quit the fight during battle. So... That's in like implying that you're still alive in battle, that is. And the other thing is that um, sleeps. Now, I have to admit that um, people who are AFK a lot in, in terms of the keyboard, that's a good example of what would happen there. Um, so that's basically how you get pink status. Now... In order to remove the warning, uh, you have to play several battles just to get rid of the infriction notice there. So that's the reason uh, why you can keep playing. Now, if you keep doing it in a bad way and, you know, deliberately going AFK from the keyboard, as in like not showing your activeness, deliberately um, not participate in any way, show, perform, or actually still shooting at your teammates, or um, leave the game prematurely, well, and this also implies misbehavior in chat, you get in a bad books where you get orange, okay, so when you're orange, it means you're banned, and that's not a thing that you're going to be liking very, very much, um, that means that uh, you'll be highlighted as orange, uh, but only in, in port, um, it will be still be pink in battle. So, when in battle and co op, um, it will be you know uh, appearing as pink, but in the port, it only appears as orange. So, this is an example of that. Now, you have to keep playing a number of co op battles to lift that violation. And it's not easy to do. Uh, so this is what happens when the, you're in the anti-abuse system. So you can do clan battles. You can do uh, co-op. And this looks like operations in 
And then that doesn't look like operations actually. That looks like training rooms. Yeah, that looks like it, yeah. So basically, you when you get to this status and when you're being banned, it's pretty severe. Warning, you still can play all modes, but you have to remember in when you're in pink status, try not to repeat what you did before into the actual uh, state to get back to no violations. Um, it does take a while to get back to it, so just understand it is a lot of battles involved. Um, firing at your allies can be severe. Starting at uh, 10.5 would disable allied firing damage in all battle types. So that's new and different. So basically that means that starting at 10.5, which is not too far away, it's about next week I think. But anyway. When 10.5 drops folks, this will be changed for the better. So, um, just by looking at it, yeah, I think, uh, just by looking at it, uh, the changes will have a positive uh, impact on the gameplay. Uh, so, players will no longer be able to damage or destroy allied ships. The main changes means that you can no longer damage or uh, destroy allied ships disabling the modules or cause detonation. Ramming won't cause any damage to allied ships either. Um, at the same time, the allied ships uh, still present an obstacle for shells, torpedoes, and any other we weapon types. Um, the warning will be about approaching allied torpedoes has been removed. <laughs> That's very common in the game, funnily enough. But... Um, that there, there's no friendly fire in operations actually, just letting you know, but there is friendly fire in randoms, ranked, clan battles, and pretty much any or every other mode except operations, so that basically this change is a right to improve the morale of the player base, so it should be a good impact actually, but we'll see. Um, after a player hits an ally in any armament type uh, except secondary battery shells, they will be warned uh, that they need to stop to firing at allies. If the player continues to fire at allies uh, score and scores 40 hits on the same ship or 50 hits on the different ships in a single battle, they will be issued with a warning and then turn pink. That probably makes sense, but we'll see how that really works in the game. I'm not going to try it out myself, but I think that um, we will know soon enough when it comes to our uh, gameplay. And then they're, they're, the player will receive a warning, won't earn any XP or credits in that battle, which is makes sense, and then you get a message like that. Um, the This is an example of when you get an or like a, a warning message in the game and then it should be all right but just remember inactivity in the gameplay is really bad it really is because people who go afk from the computer um or and have disconnect who have like connection issues connection issues they should not be at fault for. But in terms of being deliberately AFK, not playing the game and anything like that, that is an issue. And they should be punished for it. They should be. And honestly, if the player is inactive in battle, they will receive a punishment, which is good. And to avoid punishment, players need to meet at least one criteria below. And Travel some distance and an active ship being pushed by another ship is not counted as the action of traveling. Um, participating in the capture or defense of the key areas, but damage um, enemy ships with any weapons except secondary battery guns, ramming is not taken into account. That's different. Um, 
called a Ramy Pond, that is. Um, so there's a lot of activity indicators for the aircraft carriers as well. You have to remember what you need to do. So you need to take care of it and sort it out. So overall, this is pretty cool. I like it. I really do. So check it out. I will leave a link uh, for this um, video for you uh, to read the, the description for yourselves. But my friends, I think that's um, pretty much a summary. So check it out and keep yourself up to date because it will help you for any reason in the gameplay. But just remember, participate. Don't quit during the game and unless you're dead in battle. But just do the right thing. Make sure you're keeping yourself all in check. If you have any problems with the gameplay, definitely check it out. Anyway, so, so I think that was a good summary. And uh, thanks for gaming for keeping us up to date.